Hey guys, good to see you again. I am Lee Kelso. Welcome back to the garage where we are converting this 1989 Saab turbo convertible from an automatic into a five speed. Of course, that meant we had the engine pulled out while we did not only the transmission conversion, but lots of other work to make this car more fun, enjoyable, and powerful summer driver. Well, now the engine is back in place. Everything is attached and buttoned up and it's time to turn the key. You think it's gonna start? Well, the more skeptical among you are going to say, there's no way that's the first time that engine started. And, you know, truth be told, you're right. I was so excited about getting this thing running that I didn't have the camera set up when I turned the key for the first time. But really, that's a pretty accurate representation of how it went. It, it basically started up, ran a little lumpy, took a timing adjustment, and then began to run fairly well. I was just so excited to get the thing running that I, I didn't include you guys in the process. And you know, the fact that I was so eager to get this project moving forward has come back to bite me in another way. I should have been smart enough to replace all of the hoses originally that were on the car and you know, I just, I was in a rush and I didn't do it. And now I've got leaks that I have to chase, but you know, no big deal. I'll, I'll figure those out and chase that down. The more important issue right now is the shift linkage. The, we took the transmission out of a 91 non-turbo, the, the transmission and the shift linkage and put it in this car. And now I can't get the car to shift the linkage in. It just doesn't match up and go into gear very well. So I'm going down underneath to take a look at that linkage assembly and see if we can figure out exactly what's going on. There's no shortage of tips online for adjusting your linkage, and here's one that helped me. There is a pinch nut at the transmission end of the shift linkage. Don't try to adjust or loosen that nut from underneath the car. I found it much easier to reach it through the opening in the firewall. In my 89, the process to adjust the linkage was to put the car in third, and then I inserted an Allen key through alignment holes in the shift linkage and its housing. That gives you enough room for fine tuning, but keeps the shifter in roughly the right position. Tighten the pinch bolt, and then gently work your way through the shift pattern. You can feel the transmission slipping through the gears. So now it feels like I can shift through all the gears and uh, I think we're about ready to take it down off the jack stands and for it out for a test drive. But in this process I learned something <laughs> I knew about the car that I didn't know. Uh, I'll show you, come here. When I took up the floor mats, uh, look at what we found. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty good size hole right there, right at your heel point for the clutch pedal. Don't know what we're gonna do about that. It's not gonna keep me from taking it on a test drive, I'll guarantee you that. Okay, the clutch feels good. It's got a nice biting point. Feels nice and solid. Oh, I don't think I can resist. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take it around the block. Can you blame me? So, I'm sure you're wondering, uh, how did it go? Well, we'll cover that next time around. I'm pretty excited. Glad you were here for the test drive. Till the next time, get out in the garage, get yourself dirty, and you know where I'm headed. Ooh.